Yeah, so I've been searching the internet, trying to find a solution to a problem I have, which is I wanted to use WhatsApp on my tablet as I use it on my for my I sync my laptop and my phone and use web.whatsapp.com to send messages to people I'm talking to because uh, I know a lot of you when you're using your laptop it's quite convenient to just simply use whatsapp from the laptop so I have a kinder fire and I wanted to do the same as I would do with my laptop so use the Kindle rather than the laptop to synchronize with my phone and get it cut, get connected to WhatsApp. So I tried searching the web. I looked everywhere, couldn't find anything online, any sources about how I can get that done. So I decided to use my tech wisdom and just figure out a solution to my own problem. And yeah, it worked. It's quite happy. Well, yeah. So I'll show you a quick tutorial of how I did that. So I'll show you a quick preview first of how, what it would look like in the App Store first. So let me try to search for WhatsApp. Okay, so here in the list you can see that there's no WhatsApp showing up. No apps. So the best one I would say in this list would be Viber, Facebook Messenger or Kick Messenger. But that's not what I want. I want WhatsApp. So yeah, open Silk Browser. On the website you'll notice it just says download now. Okay. So let me click download now, and this is what happens. Currently unavailable. So, the solution to the problem. This is the big one. You simply click here on those three dots next to the bookmark tab. So you see re refresh, home, bookmark and those three dots at the side. You can just press on that. And at the very bottom, above find page, and so between print and find page, you'll see request desktop site. Click on that one, and that opens the web.whatsapp.com URL. So that's the specific link. I'm already connected to WhatsApp. So let me log out actually. Okay, so this is what it would look like. So you'll notice it asks you for the QR code and whether you want to keep signed in or not. So you just get your phone out. There we go, I'm now connected to the web.whatsapp.com. So I'll show you again quickly the solution to the problem. I'll just log out again. I'll share back on the home page what happens. Okay, I'll go back to the regular mobile site. That's what it looks like. So this is the mobile site, that's what you'll see. And there are no links to a mobile uh, full desktop page. So here again, the three dots next to bookmark and request desktop site. That's the one you're looking for. And in. So thank you for watching my tutorial. And this is this was a tutorial about web.whatsapp.com using that on your tablet. Or you can even use that. So it can be 
I'm currently using a Kindle Fire HD. All right, it will work the same for any Kindle, any Kindle Fire or similar Android tablet. Uh, not sure about the iPad, but I think you'd get the same option to you to choose between using a mobile site or desktop site because that's the key. You're looking for the desktop site. So you want your, your tablet browser or even a mobile phone browser to be treated as a desktop browser. And there are other ways you can get this done with a bit of research, but this is the simplest way to get that done. And it's straightforward, easy. Everyone would be able to understand that. So thank you again for watching this video tutorial. All right, until next time. And you can look at my other videos and subscribe to my page. Thank you.